welcome to Lifestyle Elevation, where we inspire you to live your best life every day. Today we're diving deep into the history of the Roman Empire, exploring its birth, development, accomplishments, the reigns of its emperors, reasons for its decline, and its enduring influence on languages and cultures worldwide. We'll also analyze what we can learn from this valuable history to apply in our own lives. The Birth of the Roman Empire the Roman Empire has its roots in the founding of the city of Rome in 753 BC according to legend by Romulus and Remus. Rome began as a small settlement on the Italian peninsula, growing under the influence of neighboring cultures like the Etruscans and Greeks. Initially it was a kingdom, but in 509 BCE the Romans established a republic, marking the beginning of Rome's expansionist era, development and expansion. 1. Republican Rome 509 to 27 BC military conquests Rome expanded its territory through a series of military campaigns key victories included the Punic Wars against Carthage which solidified Roman dominance in the Mediterranean the three Punic Wars 264 to 146 BC ended with Rome's victory over Carthage turning the Mediterranean into a Roman lake political innovations the Republic's political system included checks and balances with elected officials like consuls and senators, contributing to its stability and growth. This system encouraged a balanced approach to governance, preventing any single individual from gaining too much power. The Senate, composed of Rome's elite, played a crucial role in legislative decisions. Societal integration. Conquered peoples were often granted citizenship or allied status, fostering loyalty and unity within the growing empire. This integration helped create a more cohesive and resilient society. For example, the Social War, 91 to 88 BC, resulted in the extension of Roman citizenship to Italian allies, further unifying the peninsula under Roman control. 2. Imperial Rome, 27 BCE to 476 CE. Augustus and the Pax Romana. The transition to empire began with Augustus, formerly Octavian in 27 BC. Augustus initiated the Pax Romana, a period of relative peace and prosperity that lasted over 200 years. This era allowed Rome to focus on internal development and cultural flourishing. Augustus reformed the tax system, developed a professional standing army, and established the Praetorian Guard. Infrastructure and Culture Rome invested heavily in infrastructure, building roads, aqueducts, and public buildings. This facilitated trade, communication, and cultural exchange across the vast empire. Roads like the Via Appia connected distant parts of the empire, promoting economic and social integration. The aqueducts brought fresh water into cities, improving public health and sanitation, legal and administrative systems. The development of Roman law and efficient administrative systems helped maintain order and governance across diverse territories. The Twelve Tables and later legal codes provided a foundation for justice and civil order. The establishment of provincial governance allowed Rome to efficiently manage its vast territories. Accomplishments of Roman Emperors Augustus, 27 BC to 14 CE, established the imperial system, initiated the Pax Romana, and oversaw extensive building projects including the Forum of Augustus. Augustus's reforms in taxation, military, and governance laid the groundwork for a stable and prosperous empire. He also fostered arts and literature, patronizing poets like Virgil and Horace. Trajan, 98 to 117 CE, expanded the empire to its greatest territorial extent, conquering Dacia, modern-day Romania, and building Trajan's column to commemorate his victories. Trajan's public works, including aqueducts, baths, and bridges, exemplified his commitment to improving Roman infrastructure. His reign marked a period of economic prosperity and extensive public building programs. Hadrian, 117 to 138 CE, consolidated and fortified the empire's borders, building Hadrian's Wall in Britain. He also promoted cultural and architectural advancements, including the Pantheon. Hadrian's policies of strengthening defenses and cultural patronage left a lasting legacy. He traveled extensively across the empire, overseeing projects and fostering unity. Marcus Aurelius, 161 to 180 CE, known as the Philosopher Emperor, he authored meditations and dealt with various military and internal challenges, exemplifying Stoic principles. His reign demonstrated the importance of intellectual and moral leadership in governance. 
Despite facing invasions and plagues, Marcus Aurelius maintained the empire's stability through his stoic resilience and wisdom. Reasons for decline The decline of the Roman Empire was a complex process influenced by multiple factors. 1. Economic troubles Heavy taxation and inflation weakened the economy. The devaluation of Roman currency and reliance on slave labor disrupted economic stability. The debasement of the silver denarius led to severe inflation and economic instability. Reliance on slave labor hindered technological innovation and economic diversification. This reliance created economic stagnation and limited growth potential. The economy struggled to adapt to changes and sustain growth. 2. Military issues Overextension of the empire made it difficult to defend. The vast borders stretched Roman military resources thin. The constant need for defense in military campaigns drained the empire's resources. Recruitment problems and reliance on mercenaries undermined military effectiveness. Mercenaries often lacked loyalty to Rome, weakening the military's cohesion and effectiveness. The Battle of Adrianople in 378 CE, where the Roman army was defeated by the Goths, highlighted these military vulnerabilities. 3. Political instability. Frequent changes in leadership and civil wars weakened central authority. Political infighting and assassinations destabilized the government. The crisis of the 3rd century, 235 to 284 CE, saw numerous emperors rise and fall in rapid succession. Corruption and ineffective governance eroded public trust and stability. The loss of public confidence in the government exacerbated internal divisions and disorder. The inefficiency and corruption within the bureaucracy further weakened the state's functionality. 4. External pressures. Invasions by various barbarian groups such as the Visigoths and Vandals led to the sack of Rome in 410 CE and 455 CE, respectively. These invasions exposed the vulnerabilities of the Roman defenses. The pressure from the Huns, led by Attila, also forced many barbarian tribes into Roman territories. The fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476 CE marked the end of centralized Roman rule in the West, though the Eastern Roman Empire, or Byzantine Empire, continued until 1453 CE. The division of the empire weakened its ability to respond to external threats. The Western Empire's decline was accelerated by the loss of key provinces like Gaul, Hispania, and North Africa. Influence on languages and cultures The Roman Empire's influence on languages and cultures is profound and enduring. 1. Romance languages. Latin, the language of the Romans, evolved into the Romance languages. Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Romanian. Each language developed unique characteristics influenced by local dialects and languages. Example, Spanish has significant influences from Arabic due to the Moorish occupation of the Iberian Peninsula. The Arabic influence is evident in vocabulary, architecture, and cultural practices. French language and culture were significantly shaped by the Frankish and Gaulish heritage blending with Roman traditions. 2. Legal systems. Roman law forms the basis of many modern legal systems. Concepts such as innocent until proven guilty and property rights have roots in Roman jurisprudence. The influence of Roman law can be seen in the legal codes of many countries, particularly in Europe and Latin America. The Corpus Juris Civilis, compiled under Emperor Justinian, became a foundational text for many modern legal systems. 3. Architecture and Engineering Roman architectural techniques, such as the use of concrete and the arch, influence building practices throughout history. Structures like the Colosseum and aqueducts exemplify Roman engineering prowess. Roman urban planning and road networks set standards for future generations. Modern examples the design of many government buildings, stadiums, and infrastructure projects are inspired by Roman architecture. The use of arches, domes, and concrete in construction has had a lasting impact on architectural practices. The U.S. Capitol and many European Parliament buildings draw inspiration from Roman designs. 4. Cultural and Philosophical Legacy Roman literature, philosophy, and art continue to inspire works of Roman authors like Virgil and Ovid, and philosophers like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius remain studied and admired. Roman contributions to art, literature, and theater set the stage for Renaissance and modern Western culture. Example, the Stoic philosophy of Marcus Aurelius, as expressed in his meditations, offers timeless wisdom on resilience, leadership, and personal conduct. His reflections on duty, ethics, and inner strength continue to resonate with readers today.
Roman contributions to philosophy, especially in Stoicism and Epicureanism, influenced Christian theology and Enlightenment thinking. Learning from Roman history what to look for. 1. Strategic vision. Emulate the Romans' long-term planning in your personal and professional life. Set clear goals and work methodically towards them. Example. If you aim to advance in your career, develop a clear career path with milestones and continuously build the skills needed for each step. Create a personal strategic plan that outlines your objectives, resources, and timelines. 2. Adaptability. Be open to change and ready to adjust your plans as circumstances evolve. Flexibility is key to overcoming challenges. Example, if unexpected changes occur in your job or personal life, approach them with a flexible mindset, seeking out new opportunities rather than resisting change. Develop a mindset that embraces innovation and adaptability in the face of adversity. 3. Investment in yourself. Just as the Romans built infrastructure, invest in your skills, education, and well-being. Continuous learning and self-care are vital for long-term success. Example, enroll in courses, attend workshops, and take time for activities that improve your physical and mental health. Prioritize lifelong learning and personal development to stay competitive and fulfilled. What to avoid? 1. Overextension. Avoid spreading yourself too thin. Focus on maintaining a balance between ambitions and resources. Example, Prioritize your commitments and learn to say no when necessary to avoid burnout and maintain quality in your endeavors. Manage your time and resources effectively to prevent overcommitting and underdelivering. 2. Ignoring economic health. Pay attention to your financial stability. Manage your resources wisely and avoid unsustainable practices. Example: Create a budget, save regularly, and invest wisely to ensure long-term financial security. Monitor your financial health and make informed decisions to safeguard your economic well-being. 3. Neglecting governance. Ensure effective leadership in any group or organization you are part of. Good governance and accountability are crucial for long-term success. Example: If you are in a leadership position, foster a culture of transparency, integrity, and accountability within your team or organization. Implement systems that promote ethical behavior and effective management. Conclusion. The Roman Empire's rise and fall offer valuable lessons in governance, strategy, and adaptability. By understanding their successes and failures, we can draw parallels to our own lives and strive for a more elevated existence. The legacy of Rome lives on in our languages, legal systems, architecture, and culture, reminding us of the enduring impact of this ancient civilization. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Lifestyle Elevation. We hope you found inspiration and valuable insights to help elevate your everyday life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. Share your thoughts and let us know what topics you'd like us to cover next. Remember, every step you take towards self-improvement is a step towards a more elevated and fulfilling life. Until next time, keep striving for excellence and embrace the journey to your best self. Stay elevated.